Hey everybody, so this is Alice in Wonderland, um, like, I, why am I blanking out? Halloween makeup tutorial, and, um, yeah, so this is the second one, and I forgot to mention the nail polish that I'm wearing currently, um, and also the nail polish that would be really good for, um, the ladybug costume is... Um, quarter of a cent cherry so it's it kind of looks darker on camera um, but on my nails it is actually pretty dark what if you once after you do two coats um, I have well I have OPI on my fingers and OPI on my toes I'm not sure which one because I got done at a salon but this would be great. And the costume is $45 from Spirit. So all these costumes are from Spirit. And I will all link them all in the bottom bar below. Um, now for Alice in Wonderland, I have two nail polish picks. The first one is by Clunky Fingers. And it's Jewel Tone Blue. So it's just a metallic um, blue. And it's dark. And for our... That's for more of like a, I feel like it's like nighttime trick-or-treating kind of look. And if you want to go for a more laid back, um, if, you're, if you have a little girl or you are doing makeup for a little girl or whatever, um, this is like a perfect color. So this is um, from a Wet n Wild, like it came in a pack and this is Wet n Wild Crystallic Nail Color. And this is in Color Blue Blast. And it's just a nice frosty blue, baby blue. So really any baby blue color that you can find. And I feel like this is a little more kid friendly, whereas this is more a little more teenager. But they're both really pretty. And this is more of like the costume looking blue. Um, but first what I'm going to do, and I feel like I've never done this in a video, but this is a really helpful tip um, besides putting your hair back in a headband um also take like a moisturizer well if your skin is dry um it's i'm using the neutrogena healthy defense daily moisturizer untinted so it's just white and you just put it on um come out and i use this during the day like you know i did not put it on today so Okay, so, and this just makes her skin really soft, um, so, because I just washed my face from all that makeup from the ladybug, so it makes my skin really soft, and I feel like it's easier for me to put makeup on, so I recommend trying that out. Okay. So, oh, and this costume is $35. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a concealer, and I still have some eyeliner left on, well, under my eyes, from, uh, the ladybug, so it's kind of, like, dark, but you don't want any tiredness or tiredness-looking skin at all. Because it's Halloween, you want to look happy and not tired. Okay. Now, um, I'm just going to take a foundation. The liquid foundation, when I was taking it off, is extremely hard to get off. I guess I put too much. Oh my god. I will. If I ever use that, it's going to be like a drop. You cannot put too much, but... This is why I like this so much better. This is Neutrogena Healthy Defense Foundation. This is um, Light O2. So, that's what it looks like. And it's going to make my skin look a little more pale. But Alice in Wonderland, she was she did have, like, fair light skin. So, it's okay. You might want to get shades lighter. But if you want to just go through natural skin, it's okay. Oh, and, um, I guess I'll tell you this. Me and Miranda are planning on being football players for Halloween. So, yeah. 
Now I'm just, I'm using my Love and Beauty blush um, from Forever 21. And again, because she was like a little girl, she was not very, like, old. She didn't really use that much makeup. So this is going to be more of a neutral look. And because this has such a light color to it, I thought this would be perfect. Because it's just like a nice shimmer. It's not really a color. So any mineralized skin finish or anything. Basically like a shimmer. <laughs> or a very like light baby pink. Okay. So. Now I'm going to take eye primer. I'm going to do eyeshadow first. I feel like that's a lot more helpful. So just take eye primer. I'm using the Love and Beauty eye primer. Blend it in with your ring finger. Okay. And what I'm going to be doing, I was thinking of doing beige, but I decided not to. I'm going to take this light baby blue it's showing up white on camera. It is very close to white. But, um, I am going to be applying this on my lid and blending it in with, I might do this blue because it is still white. Kind of like a aqua blue. Um, but it's not going to be too like out and about even if it's even though it's halloween you can do whatever you want but since alice in wonderland was again very young these are just some nice colors so these two okay um first i'm going to actually take that light blue color the baby blue and just dab it and kind of bring it underneath a little bit and up top just for a highlight and yeah okay now I'm going to take in my eyeshadow brush and get that light blue and you can use beige or whatever I decided to do blue just because it's Alice in Wonderland so I wanted to do some you know outgoing kind of colors Okay. I don't know why I'm like out of breath. Now, I am... Okay, where did I go? Okay, this is not good. Did I lose my brush? Okay, whatever. I'll just use this one again. So, you want to just take kind of an aqua kind of teal color and get some and and apply it here and down and I'll fix that up after Okay, now I'm going to blend it. I put a little too much on the side. But I'm going to just blend it out. Okay. Now, I'm itchy. 
Now, like I said, because um, Alice in Wonderland is a little girl, you might not guess if you're older and you're a teen and you want to use eyeliner. Um, but no, if you're a little girl, um, or even if you are a teen, you don't have to use eyeliner. But I will just for the purpose of it. Sorry, I'm breathing very heavy. Okay. Ta -da. Oh, God. I messed that up. I'm just going to take my brush and fix that up a little. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, now I'm not going to put on, actually put on mascara, you guys can, but it's a pain to get off, so you want to curl your lashes, you can use fake lashes for all these, I'm not though, because I don't think there's a need to. Okay. And then just apply your favorite mascara. Now, um, here's like an another one of my favorite parts. Um, I did have a slightish gray blue lipstick, lip gloss, but it is my pocketbook downstairs. So, um, I decided to use the closest gloss that I had to clear, and it's the Lip Delicious, um, Sheer Cotton Candy from Math and Body Works. Um, and it does have, like, pink glitter or whatever, but because it's so close to clear, like, it is clear, pretty much, I decided I would use this because I was going to use red. And I was like, you know what? The look is, she is a little girl. So, I decided to use clear. Now, you can do whatever you want with the lips, depending on who you are and what you feel like doing. And you could, depending on the eyes, if you are younger, you could do a lighter color or whatever. But this is kind of my take on it. And I hope you guys enjoy these, the, this Alice in Wonderland tutorial. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.